friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, hey, I'm Savannah. On the channel, I talk about the fun side of minimalism and today we're doing a style with me. I've been wanting to make this video forever. It's going to be styling a simple black slip dress for fall and winter. I feel like there's no piece more versatile than a slip dress. It's so effortless, it's so cool. You can majorly dress it up like a red carpet moment or super dress it down with sneakers and pulling kind of an Emrata paparazzi moment. So we're gonna cover the whole gamut outfit wise. Hopefully I can provide some inspiration so that you guys can recreate these outfits on your own. Let's do it. So here is my slip dress. It will be the base for all of the looks. It's vintage lingerie, long, lacy. It has these playful boudoir-esque pink ribbons that I can take on and off. And any slip dress you have will absolutely do the trick. And honestly, the more plain it is, the more you can do with it. Let's start with something super simple. Grab your basic white t-shirt. I'm calling this first one the knot because we are simply knotting our t-shirt. You can knot it at your natural waistline or right under your bra. I love how it breaks up the silhouette. It's a really good style for pregnancy. I wore this pretty much my entire pregnancy. And if for some reason you have an aversion to the knot, you can always tie your t-shirt in the back with a little hair tie and tuck it under. And then you have a bit more of a sleek look in front. And if you want to opt for something a little more funky, you can always do the classic t-shirt under the slip dress. I feel like it works best with a bit of an oversized t-shirt for something a bit more baggy, almost like a bat wing sort of effect. And if it's one of those chillier days and you're really wanting to layer up, you can always layer underneath a long sleeve t-shirt, a thermal, something cashmere for a bit more work. I'm gonna stick with the white tee because it's my tried and true. I'm layering on top this oversized leather jacket, a ball cap, and I'm gonna go back to the knot because that is my preferred style. In this outfit, I am channeling 90s grunge. I'm calling it the Courtney Love. I have paired an oversized flannel and Doc Martens with the slip dress. I feel like for this, you just need the juxtaposition of something super feminine. Obviously, it's the slip dress with something a bit more masculine, oversized, and really just more, I feel like, folky and like rock. So that's what I have going here. You can always layer on a long sleeve underneath. It amplifies that casual, cool grunge style and also will keep you warm. This next outfit is another toasty gal. I am wearing a cashmere turtleneck sweater. It's more of a thin sweater, so it fits really nicely underneath the slip dress. And then I'm layering on top my puffer jacket. This is my favorite jacket. It's a denim Levi's puffer, hence the fairy puff name. And to make this outfit even more winterproof, you could wear a pair of thermal leggings underneath. And then I am topping everything off with this ball cap. I feel like the hat really ties the whole look together and makes it look a lot more intentional and purposeful. To me, this is the ultimate supermarket chic. This next look is called the Easy Breeze. It's about the fastest outfit you can throw on. I'm wearing an oversized men's dress shirt. I'm loving this blue color for the last few days of warm weather. It's also a great color heading out of winter into spring, but any oversized men's shirt will do the trick. And I really like this paired with the white sneakers. They keep the look super fresh. This next look I'm calling the LWT, the Lil White Tank. I love this look because it serves as a super simple base to layer on any accessories that you want to wear. Chunky sunglasses, big jewelry, earrings, bracelets. You can really do anything with it. Also, I feel like this outfit would look really nice with a long sleeve mesh shirt. It's not really something that I wear, but I feel like it's very on trend right now and it's something that would look really fun like going out on the town. And I am pairing this outfit with my long line leather jacket but I feel like a crop jacket would look super cute with this too. This next look I'm calling Summer Forever. I have a hard time letting go of summer, but at least the second best season is coming right up. It's fall, so I'm taking this Oxford button-down shirt and simply tying it up underneath my bra line. This button-down is midway. It's an off-white color. I feel like it goes with so much of my closet, and I am pairing it with my ball cap. I feel like the look is really balanced and really interesting. A little sporty, a little feminine, and I feel like it's perfect for one of those Indian summer days, those last park hangs of the season. This look is something a little different for me, but it's really great if you prefer those loose, more masculine silhouettes. I'm calling this outfit Preacher Girl. I have paired with the slip dress, my button down just hanging loosely. I have layered over my long line leather jacket. I feel like it would also look really lovely with a trench coat. 
and I have put on my beanie to cap it all off. It's super warm, it's super cool, and I feel like when you wanna feel just protected out in the world, this is a really good look. Also, I feel like it's fun to strip down this outfit and play with the layers as you head indoors for the evening. I am calling this next fit Western Days. I saw this lovely street style pic of J-Law and drew some inspiration. I just love a maxi dress with like a statement hat. I currently have this light brown wool rancher hat. It's really fun. I feel like it's a bit more summery. So if you have a darker hat for fall winter, I feel like that would pair even better. And then I'm layering on top my oversized vintage denim jacket. I feel like denim always pairs really nicely with silk with the juxtaposition of the fabrics. Also, I feel like cowboy boots would be a really, really fun option for this look. I'd probably switch up the jacket to a black denim or maybe like a long cardigan duster. This is just the perfect outfit for a romp around in the apple orchard. This next look definitely embodies my own personal style. I'm calling it the prep. I'm first putting on a ringer tee and then layering over top a simple fitted sweater. I love how the neckline of the ringer tee just pops out ever so slightly. Also navy and black is one of my favorite color combos. It's just a different way to do an all black outfit. It's just, you know, mixing it up a bit and I feel like it's very, you know, mature and chic. And I'm really loving the collegiate kind of varsity feel these Chuck Taylor sneakers are bringing to the outfit. Also, this pair happens to be leather, which I feel like really elevates my foot game a bit. And if you're not into sneakers, I feel like this outfit would look really cute with ballet flats as well. This next look is called the Miss Lions in honor of the one and only Jenna Lions. When I think of unusual dress layering combinations, Jenna Lions is just the master of this. And again, I'm wearing my husband's shirt, but I feel like any interesting patterns would look really cool for this, maybe a floral or a polka dot. And right now I have the sleeves undone. I feel like it looks cool and purposeful over my hands. And if it strikes your fancy, you could also fold the sleeves the J Lions way, if you know, you know, to make them look a bit more casual and undone. And with this outfit, I have paired my black sandal heels. They're the perfect footwear heading out of summer. But this outfit would also look amazing with like a cool chunky loafer. And for hair with this look, I really like a simple kind of undone bun, like a ballerina bun or a messy bun. I feel like it gives that cool casual working girl pencil stuck in your bun sort of look. Grab your cardigans for this next look. I am calling it the Dunst. When I think of 90s cute little cardigans, I think of Kirsten Dunst. I do love the crop on this. It really accentuates the length of the skirt. And if you wanna do something a bit more modern and kind of like grunge, I feel like something really chunky and oversized would look super, super cool. And for accessories, I feel like a mini purse just over the shoulder would look super, super cute. Something like the famous Prada bag. And I have a second look for you with the cardigan. It is called Chic on the Go. You're first gonna throw on a sports bra or whatever you have, and then we'll be tucking our sweater into it for a little crop. So I'm throwing on my cardigan backwards. I really like the look because it gives sort of a boat neck appearance around the neckline, then it has a little fun going on in the back. This is truly such a fast outfit to throw on and it feels quite elevated. And I feel like this look would look amazing with knee higher over the knee heeled boots. I would be wearing mine, but they are in storage right now. This next outfit is called Dive Bar Babe. Grab your band t-shirt, your graphic t-shirt. Honestly, my only graphic shirt is kind of tight fitting, but I think an oversized vintage t-shirt would look much, much cooler, especially in a fun contrasting color. And then I'm pairing this with my Doc Martens, you know, leaning into the, the edge of the outfit, the grunge of the outfit, trying to keep it a little rock and roll. And on top, I am tossing on my leather jacket and I am feeling dive bar ready. I'm referring to this final look as Edwardian Queen. You will quickly see why. Hello again, button down. We have buttoned her all the way up and it is wrapped up with a bow. I am loving the fun and the frill. I am feeling like the fabulous Florence Welch, but budget. This is the poor man's Gucci and I have my sneakers on to dress this thing down. And after a long day, I can always loosen up my tie a little, undo a few buttons and ease into the night. And that concludes all of my black slip dress looks. You can use it for whatever slip dress that you have. Honestly, I feel like styling a slip dress is similar to jeans. It's hard to F up. A lot of things go with it. So go forth and get styling. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you want me to do another video with like a different piece of clothing that's similar to this because honestly, this was very, very fun. I found new outfits I hadn't tried myself. 
And if you watched this far, subscribe. I'd love to have you here on the channel. That's all. I'll catch you guys in my next one. Love you so, so much. Have the most fun rest of your day. Bye.